Hi, this is Lev. I'm here at the Giant Fish showing you how to put together the brand new Aqua Euro 113th horsepower chiller using our assembly package and recommended pump. Um, the first thing you're going to do is open the chiller up, uh, get your pump together, get everything out and ready to go. Now we send you one piece of 10 foot long tubing. Um, we're going to cut that tubing in half, one for the in, one for the out. Now all chillers are assembled the same way with our assembly packages. It's really, really simple. So it doesn't matter which one you use, the assembly is literally the same for every single one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use warm water and heat the end of this tube up. That way it'll expand real easily and become soft. And you can just use some elbow grease. Get this tubing right onto the pump. Nice song. Again, you just have to do it one time. And then usually that stays nice and tight right on the pump. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open these guys up. These are just caps. We pull them off right like that. Make sure these are nice and secure, right on there. Now this pump is rated, the pumps that we sell come spe specifically aimed at giving you the targeted gallons per hour through the unit at four feet away. We're assuming that this is gonna go into your tank and the total distance that that pump is going to need to pump is four feet. Now if it's a little less or a little bit more, it's fine because again, the range that the pump is targeted to pump at is right in the middle of the range that you want for this chiller. So if you're three feet away, it'll work. If you're a little more than four feet away, it'll work also. So there's your pump again. Now you want to cut this tube to the length so that right it sits in your tank where you want it, and then it comes out and goes right into, into here. Now there's an in and there's an out. You want to make sure we get that right. In this situation, that's the out, that's the in. They're clearly marked in this situation. Sometimes they're not actually marked, in which case it doesn't really matter which one's the in and the out. But in this situation, it does matter. So there's the in. I'm going to screw that right on there. Nice and tight. Just hand tighten it. You don't have to worry about using a wrench or anything. I'm going to put the, the piece of tubing through the hose clamp. Put that right on. I'm going to use our pliers to make sure it's nice and tight. We don't want water getting all over the place. It's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. So that the in is done. Again, the pump into the chiller. Now we're going to do the out. Same kind of thing. So we're going to take one of our hose clamps, put it right on there, right like that. Nice and tight, so we have no leaks. Nice and tight, and then on the other side, we're going to very simply use the YouTube return.
this, these are barbed, so that's not, you know, you want to get it in there real nice. And that's not going anywhere. Right like that. So, you know, perfect. We can use one of these hose clamps also. So I'm gonna open up one of these hose clamps. and tight and again very simply pump goes in the tank pumps through the chiller goes right back out you can put this in the sump you can put this in the tank directly doesn't matter where it goes as long as it pumps water through the chiller at around four feet plus or minus a foot away it'll give you that flow right in the middle of the range where you want it for this chiller it's to up to 290 gallons per hour higher than 160 so this pump will give you around 220 gallons per hour at um, at three and a half at four feet excuse me um, so it works perfectly well for this application so um, that's how you set up a chiller using our assembly package um, Thank you very much for joining us here at the Giant Fish for our tutorial on how to set up a chiller using our assembly package and our recommended pump. Take care.